When I was 16, I was working at a Friendly's, and my mom was picking me up, and she got carjacked right there in the parking lot. We called the police, went down to the police station. They found the car, impounded it to the Greenwich Police Department, and they started dusting it for fingerprints. And I just thought that was so cool. It was using science to help people. What got me interested in forensic science, I always loved biology. And when I went to college, I was struck by the sense of being able to help in forensic science, of contributing to something, feeling like you're making your small area of the world a safer place. We serve the entire state of Connecticut. All criminal cases come through our doors. Evidence is dropped off and then it's triaged throughout the lab based on the various disciplines. The training that's going to be provided is going to be unique to the individual that's hired because everybody comes in here with a different skill set. So I'll look at that person's experience and I'll gear a training program towards them to see what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and how we can work to get them to know all of our protocols. What surprised me about this role was it's definitely not like on TV. The time frames are definitely much longer. We service the whole state, so we're in a constant backlog. So as you're getting one case off your desk, you know, 20 more are coming your way. What's challenging is the amount of focus that it requires. You read a lot of accounts that can be difficult to hear. It involves trauma, involves crime, it involves someone having their worst day, and you hear that many times a day in the cases that you examine and then the ones that you review of your coworkers, you're reading multiple case histories um, that you just wish you could leave here or forget and sometimes that's really hard to do. What I'm most proud of doing this job is knowing that it's making a difference in someone's life. You know, if a case is solved, you're putting someone at ease. And obviously, you know, with the more severe cases, you know, sexual assaults, homicides, you know, you're putting, you're helping put away, you know, dangerous people and you're helping, you know, keep the public safe. You have to have a lot of passion and love for what you do because there are going to be a lot of difficult case histories. You're going to see a lot of pieces of evidence that are going to be difficult to stomach. They have to have a love of learning. Our technology changes every year. There's not a single thing that we do here that we did 14 years ago when I started here. You also have to work with the team. We're all different sections. Sometimes one case can go through, you know, six sections and we're all working together for that same result. If you have the drive and the education and you want to do it, then go for it. <laughs>